Hello, today I'm going to make all these ornaments from scratch and these are the blank shapes which can be customized or personalized as required. So I have built these shapes which you can cut in and uh, use different materials to decorate and uh, cut in wood or these files can be used in laser cutting machines such as Glowforge or die cutting machines such as uh, Cricut and Silhouette Cameo. So these shapes include angel tree, flowers, bell, heart, teardrop shape and diamond shape. These files are available for free from my Creative Fabrica store. From, you can see there is no dollar value there right now so for now these uh, Christmas ornaments are free from my creative Fabrica store and the link will be in the description we will start building our ornament shape I want a bundle of ornaments made with plain shapes so people can use it in different way so for that first of all I'm on in my illustrator on my 12 into 12 inch artboard and my pathfinder is here which you can go to windows pathfinder but my pathfinder is here i don't keep it here because i use it all day long and i'll also bring my five into five this box is five into five and this box is four into four uh, inches wide and tall i want my ornaments to be four in at least confined to four into four inch box so first i want to build a round ornament simply i'll go to ellipse tool this is a very common shape which everybody uses but i'll make it special i'll show you how so this is a just a round ornament and i'll just send a line into the center and i'll choose a star because i want this star to be the hole through which the string goes for the hanging for to make it into a hole which can where the string can go through or ribbon can go through so this is my star and i will just cop control c and control v and i'll take it to the top of this circle and i will just center align them that's it i'll copy i will select everything go to my pathfinder minus front and my my first shape is ready for my second shape i will just uh, choose pencil tool and make an organic shape like that this is a nice uh, organic shape which so many people use and love and I am going to just build an ornament by following this shape and I will just simplify the shape line by going to object path simplify and now this have less anchor points I'll just copy and reflect it copy and take it to the other side by dragging it with the mouse and holding shift and now it is on the other side I want to show you what is happening by removing every guide now uh, my star will go here so that's fine that design is good now to join these two paths I'm just going to select my direct selection tool select these two anchor points and use join tool to join and select direct selection tool and select these two anchor points and, and join with the join tool and now I'll just change it to stroke to fill and I will just go to direct selection tool when the widgets appear circular widgets I, I will select the first one and just bring this pointy shape and change it into a rounded shape I'll select my star control C and control V very simple put the star in the middle and this will help it help as a hole for the string and I will just align to artboard align everything in the middle take my star a little bit on the top and select minus front from the pathfinder and punch this hole through the star so two I have my I will put my finished shapes finished shapes in light blue so this shape is finished and this shape is also finished here you go and very quickly now I'm going to build an angel let's see how we can do it so for that 
I'm just going to choose an ellipse make a head shape like that and bring it right in the middle of the artboard go to my pencil tool choose a stroke color and make the fill none and choose a stroke color and I'm going to choose black just to show you what is going on so for that I'm going to build angel wings like that and one more maybe like this so these are the wings and I'll start the body like this maybe and I'll just squash it and bring it to the top slightly bend to show that these are wings and I'll bring this line here and by selecting and I will just zoom in to see what is going on so I will bring this line here slightly choose both of these anchor points with the help of direct selection tool go to join tool and join these two so this is a nice corner and so I think this shape is completed and now let's see how the shape is reflected so I'm going to select everything reflect transform reflect copy and bring this shape to the other side so this looks fine and I if it is bigger I, I can make it smaller but for now to just to finish the drawing I'll just choose my pen tool uh, select this point and hold shift and join to this point maybe try again from here to here and now I will go fix this shape because I want the edge to be straight now I'll slightly make this design hold shift keep it a straight line Hold both of these anchor points and with direct selection tool go to join tool and join so this makes a nice symmetrical shape now I'll just change it to from stroke to fill from here here you go I'll just make it smaller and bring it to the top select everything align to artboard select everything object expand unite so my angel is ready again I'll put my star control C control V here on the top of the angel so this can be a hole for the string align everything in the middle of the artboard by using align to artboard selecting everything minus front here you go and I'll just change the color to blue so I know that these are my finished shapes for the ornament okay now I'll build a heart for heart I'm just going to choose pencil to change the color to red and try to build a heart shape so I'll just go like that that looks good and I'll just simplify this path by going to object path simplify now this looks even better as it has less number of anchor points and I'll just squash it bring it in my confines of my design and select transform reflect copy and bring it to the other side of the artboard here you go and now I want to show you what is going on so I'll remove all my guides now these two are two different shapes so simply I'm going to go to direct selection tool select these two anchor points go to my join tool and join direct selection tool again select these two anchor points join tool join oh so this is a problem control Z uh, and I'll what is happening is that these if these are out of alignment just align them bring it to the middle because you know that you can reflect this shape again transform reflect copy bring it to the other side by holding shift and I, I show all my mistakes and my steps so you can see 
that how long it takes to make these designs perfect make these designs flawless and easy to use for the end user and i will just this is not working so i'll try it once more i i just want to share what i do and how difficult it is to get these now i'll use this bezier curve handle to get the shape of the heart right and let's try again because uh, in digital designs they are they these designs are sometimes just get stolen and <clears throat> people resell them without permission so i just want to show that how long it takes to build these design perfect and how much effort it takes so now i share this with you so my heart shape is now very nice ready and ready to go now i'll just bring it to the center of the artboard i'll copy and paste my star put it in the middle check for the alignment select everything minus front here you go so four shapes are now ready i will keep building my shapes so for this i will bring up my guide so i can see what i am building and now i'll build a small christmas tree which will be really quick so for that i'm going to go to a polygon tool i'm going to select polygon tool and just click once choose three sides that's it now this is a triangle i'm going to put this triangle in the middle copy and make this triangle the other triangle slightly larger and copy this again make this slightly larger i will either make three copies or five for for now i'll just make three and i'll align everything in the middle i will align to selection to see how it looks when it is distributed evenly this looks even better so align to artboard again select everything and change the color so i can see how i'm building this design i'll just make this square uh, triangle bigger try to bring these in the middle of the artboard and try to make this 4 into 4 inch high 4 inch high and now i will select everything align to artboard and align everything in the center i'll select everything object expand unite there you go the christmas tree is ready control c control v for the star i want the star to go right in the middle again check and there you go select everything object minus front and one more shape is ready people can my intention is that people buy these shapes cut them and then they can decorate them as they like these are the basic shapes and for one more i'm going to build a geometrical shape for that i'm going to turn on my grid i'm going to turn on the snap to grid and i'm going to select pen tool and just build a diamond shape like that i didn't count so i'll just so i know that these shapes are snapping to the edge of the grid so they are very symmetrical i'll just make it like this so i'll widen the middle and align it to the center i'll turn off my grid turn off the snapping and change the color so i know what is going on and i want to make this shape slightly more organic so i'll just select it go to my direct selection tool when this round widget appears i'm just going to just pull them down to make it this a nice shape instead of a pointy shape and everything in the, is right in the middle of the artboard i'll select my star control c control v copy and paste bring this star here align and minus 
friend from the Pathfinder and my six shapes are now ready. I will keep building my design and now I want to build a flower. Very simple and nice flower. So for that I'll just choose a different color and I will just choose an ellipse. That's it. <clears throat> so I want this flower to be nice and cute. So I'll just make it like this and I will bring it to the middle of the artboard. Now very simply what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a point right in the middle of the artboard and I'll just make sure that this point is right centered and this flower shape will go there. I will align everything, group and I'll, now I'll go to effect, distort, transform and transform. Now this box is represented here. I want this flower to rotate from this point so I will choose the point of rotation which is this and I want 10 copies. Let's try with 10 so 360 and I want them to distribute evenly so I will write 360 into 10 and I will use the slash sign. Let's look at the preview that is perfect and I will just now finish this design by selecting everything object expand appearance and then select everything again object expand unite and now i'll just get rid of this uh, gap by blob brush i'll just choose the blob brush and paint over it and it will patch the gap i will bring this design down into four into four inch size center it to know that it is nice and center copy my star put the star in the middle and center align everything and <clears throat> select everything go to pathfinder use minus front the last shape i'm going to make is a bell bell is a very common motif which is found around christmas time so i'm going to simply draw a bell by using pencil tool choosing a different color maybe red or orange and i'll just make a bell shape like this that's it and to complete this shape I'm going to take my pencil tool again and start drawing and build this shape like this I know I uh, these are very shaky lines but we are going to fix them so first of all I'm going to choose this line and uh, I'm going to right click, transform, reflect, copy, take it to the other side with the help of the arrow key on my keyboard and bring it to the other side. I'll just hide my guides to look at the shape and refine it properly. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just select these two anchor points, join them with the join tool. And I'm going to select these two anchor points and join them with the join tool. Now if I select this and change it from stroke to fill and select my direct selection tool and I will just take this kink out so it is a nice rounded bell and make it more rounded like this. Oh, this is too much so I'll just select these two anchor points and make it rounded from the top here and I'll just copy and paste my star right here center everything take the star a little bit to the top and minus front so and to this bell I can see this is right in the middle of the artboard I'll just add a bell thing bell ornament bell the ringing part of the bell I'll just add that to add to show that this is a bell I will just make it bigger make it bring it to the middle of the artboard make it slightly pronounced and check the alignment and simply select everything object expand 
unite change to the fill color of blue here you go and we have completed these very typical Christmas ornament shapes in Illustrator today these can be customized and used as the end user wants